the Palestinians. They lift a Jewish synagogue or a temple so the Palestinians can destroy it and look bad doing that. So they destroyed everything, they took apart everything from Gaza. They left a few greenhouses and they left some uh, Jewish worship place. And the Palestinians took that down and CNN was like, oh, look, 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 it's very sad. Now, the greenhouses they left, some of those places were actually uh, destroyed. Some people, when Israel left, they did not coordinate with anybody. They just, we woke up one day and they were gone, right? So there was a mob going to those places to see what was in those settlements. They were really nice location in the beach, overlooking very like fortresses. So what happened is now, in those settlements, there is a few projects. There's a, called, a place called Astab Town. So this is a, sort of a resort townish. They have fish farms, they have uh, for, uh, agriculture, they have uh, even a film studio. And it's sort of a big place where you could go and just visit and you see the fish farms and you see there's a lot of projects in that area. And it's pretty really cool area to visit because that's where the Israeli settlements used to be like in the, in the middle area. So you go, there's a film studio, there is farms, there is even turkeys r roaming around. And that's, that's a project they did because they figured that they got to save that spot for the community as opposed to doing a project that will, you know. There are some abuses in that, you know, when Hamas couldn't pay their employees, they started giving away land. Because if we can't pay you, let's give you a plot of land. The PA doesn't recognize that, but you know, that's happening. People build facts on the ground. They sort of learned that from our friends. Uh, what's the other question about uh, the Priorities. What is it? Sorry? Prioritizing weapons over infrastructure. Right. Thank you for your genuine concern for the Palestinian people and there, you know, you always make choices for them. So thank you. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. There is there is some abuses. There is some abuses and I began with those. There's people who divert things, but I assure you any respecting organizations, they're not gonna go work with Hamas. Not in large scale anyway, right? So there's Turkey who's an ally of Israel and friends. You know, so this is the reality. They, they have these arrangements, and I don't know, there's never been any case where our organization was told, you can't do this because, you know, we're always respect the rules, uh, the rules. We don't, anybody we hire, in fact, our donors even, we vet them. So this is a reality for us. We have to be safe, right? Because you do one, takes one wrong, if there's something wrong you do, that you're gonna get, never hear the end of it. And, We've been fortunate this way because we have good transparency. Everybody sees our financial reports. Everybody sees that. Now about the priorities in Gaza, I don't speak for the folks in Gaza. They decide whatever works for them. But uh, I assure you that you know we've seen the worst of the folks in Gaza. You know I have family members who were murdered by Hamas. I have family members who were killed by Israel. And you know this is this is the reality we live in. And, but my concern is I want things to be better in Gaza for the Palestinians and, and that's, that continues. It seems the Israelis are always interested in blaming the Palestinians for their own misery. And that's a nice cop out. It makes you sleep better at night. But you know, the facts are disagree with you. And, and anyway, so um, that's what we have.